Hi kids, it's Sunshine, back with part two of my haul video. These are items that I sourced on my vacation. I thrifted all the way from Arizona to Nevada in no particular order. Okay, so the first one I stopped at was a Goodwill and it was on Camino, Colorado in Fort Mojave. So it looks like I got a bunch of items here and did I hit senior day? No. So it looks like the average that I paid was $4.349. We'll round it up to four. So the first item I found were these born sandals in a size. Mm -hmm. Looks like eight. And they are in excellent condition. I've sold this style before. I think it's called the Kesha. in excellent condition and usually I get around $27 for those then it looks like I picked up a bunch of tchotchke probably to try to learn what it is but this guy don't ask it he was just so cute so it's like a black uh, Egyptian cat and it's new with tags and all it says on it is nature planet yeah, I think that's all it says on it. But he was so cute and different because he's Egyptian. Sphinx or Sphinx or however you say it. So he's got all, all that gold metallic on him. So hopefully he'll bring like 15 or 20. And this is what I'm talking about. All the little bags that are hanging on the back wall that you can't really tell what they are. But I knew this guy was a Victoria's Secret dog. So that's why I got it. And then it's got like a couple of dog toys in it, it looks like, which I'll give to my friend who has dogs. But I was interested in this Victoria's Secret dog. So hopefully it'll bring at least 15. Then I found a baggie of trolls. These all look in good condition. One even has their clothes still on. He looks like a little karate guy. So there's three trolls in there. And then we have a bag full of, uh, hopefully, McDonald's toys. You know, those package toys. I did so really good on those. So I'm hoping there's some in here. This is what you see. You can't really tell. But for the price, yeah, I'm going to pick that up. And then the next bag I found also, I'm hoping, has some McDonald's desirable Happy Meal toys in it. And then yet another one. This one looks like it's got the Teenage Ninja Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> That's a mouthful. So yeah, I don't know how much this stuff is worth, if anything, but hopefully it's going to pay for the price of the bag. Each of those bags was $3.49, so yeah, we'll have to see. And then I got some clothes. First, well, first thing I got was a belt. And I got it because it's Ed Hardy. And it's new with tags. Tells me the style number and everything. And it's genuine leather. In excellent condition. It's a size large. So hopefully that'll bring about $40. But we'll have to wait and see. I know I'm sitting on most of my Ed Hardy pieces because I'm not going to give them away. Eventually, I'll get my price for them. It just could be years from now. But they're, you know, I haven't seen anything like them. So, yeah, I've got the only one. Okay, this is fresh produce in a size 16, it looks like. And it is a pink short sleeve t-shirt. In excellent condition. Looks like a high-low hem. So hopefully 15 to 20 on that. Then I found some Athleta. In a size small. And I've never sold Athleta shorts, but these, I knew when I felt them. You can tell the quality. So they have a tie waist, side pockets, 
back zippered pocket. And hopefully those will bring at least 20, 25. Need a drink already. Looks like I found another house dress. This one is by Laddie, L-A-T-I Fashion. I'm not gonna be able to read the size tag. Have no clue who that is. But this is the cutest house dress. So it's got an all over floral print. It's got the embroidery around the neckline. Snaps up the front, short sleeves, front pockets, feels like cotton. It is just so adorable. Really love that print. Reminds me of the 70s. And we all know I love the 70s. So hopefully 2025 for that. And then, because we're going into winter, I thought, oh, a trapper hat. I haven't seen one of these in forever. And I don't even think it's branded, but it's lined. Yeah. Oh, wait, it is. Hmm. Let's see who it is. Free Authority. You guys ever heard of that brand? And it looks like it's a wool blend. So that's a bonus. And it's in really good condition. So, I don't know. 2025? Geez, I haven't sold a trapper hat. I haven't even found one in a couple of years, so yeah, I don't know. Okay, let me get that stuff put back. Then we're gonna move on to, it looks like, I don't know. This is My Sister's Charities in Chandler, Arizona. So they don't break it down either. Looks like I paid $11 for this bag. So let's see what's in it. Okay, first item is tie-dye piece. And it's DGK in a size 2X. But I got it because it is purple tie-dye. It's got the mushroom. Remember the black, well, you guys are all probably too young. But black lights back in the 70s, this t-shirt would have lit up. And the, the graphic on that is amazing. There's no cracking or anything. So it's too bad it's a 2X because I would definitely keep this. So is it vintage? No. But I'm hoping for 30, 35 for that. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. And then I found a belt. So this is genuine leather. In a size large, genuine leather calfskin. No brand name on it, but it's brown. Crocker snake print. I get those mixed up. In excellent condition, so hopefully, let me look at the hardware. Hardware's got a couple scuffs on it, so hopefully at least 20 for that. I just love, love that shirt. Ugh. Wish it was in my size. I mean, I could wear it, but geez, it'd be falling off. Okay, next place I went. This, I don't even have a receipt for. It just says, Cornerstone Mission. Oh, well, no, it still doesn't tell me the city. Hmm. So I don't know, it's either in Arizona or Nevada. <laughs> and it doesn't even say what I paid for anything. So, I don't know, probably two bucks each. So this is Romans in a size 22W. And it is a seersucker short sleeve roll tab shirt. Buttons up the front, pretty pink and purple color stripes. Excellent condition. Two front button pockets. So hopefully at least 20 for that. I don't want to lose the little brand thing. Okay, this feels like a men's shirt. Kona Kai Trading Company, extra large. It's probably a Hawaiian shirt, which I swore I'd never pick up. But I think that Kona Kai may be a good brand. I don't know. We're going to find out. So it's short sleeves, your basic Hawaiian shirt, no loud print, but it does have tropical design on it. I don't know, hopefully at least $20 for that. Let's see, this looks like, 
another Goodwill. Did I already? Okay, I'm losing my mind. Take a drink. <clears throat> okay, then we're going to move on to Goodwill on Arizona Avenue in Chandler. So it looks like I got, did I get a discount? It says other discount. It must have been the senior day. So I got a few pieces for $22, so we'll say they were each $4. First item I got was a flannel shirt by Great Northwest Indigo, and I haven't found this brand in forever, and a size 1X. It's a really good selling brand for me. So this flannel shirt's in excellent condition, and the quality is similar to L.L. Bean. And I'm not sure if it's a men's or a women's, but hopefully that'll bring at least 25. Looks like I got some hats. <laughs> so I got a Callaway Apex Chrome Soft hat in excellent condition. It says Odyssey on the back. And it's adjustable. So hopefully at least $20 for that. Let me dig some of this stuff out. So then, hmm. They put the tag right over the brand. I don't know why. Then I found some Athleta. This is an Athleta hoodie, it looks like. In a size extra small. So, I can't get it together. It's blue. Long sleeves, front pocket, zip front. Excellent condition. Got the hood. It's got the thumb holes. And have I sold an Athleta hoodie? Probably not. So I don't know. $30 maybe. Looks like I found a bra. And this is by... Never heard of this brand. Della Mira. But it's new. You can tell. And I think it's a 38 double D. No, that's UK size. US is 38 double D maybe. Look at this brand. You guys ever heard of that? Hopefully it sells well. I don't know. But I just liked it. I like the color. It's like rose. And it hooks down the front. And like I said, you know it's not it's never been worn, so it's new without tags. It's not padded. I'm wondering if it might be some kind of sports bra. I don't know. It's got the pretty lace. So hopefully that'll bring at least $30. And then the last piece I found there is something neon. So this is Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in a size large from 2016. It's a neon Ninja Turtles t-shirt in excellent condition. I bet this one glows under a black light too. <laughs> I don't know, maybe $20 for that. I have no clue. I just really like the print on it. I wanted to give it a try. Okay, then we're going to move on to another Goodwill. This one was on Florence Boulevard in Casa Grande, Casa Grande, Arizona. And looks like I got three pieces for $8, so I don't know, $2.50 each. So I found these, they're like wicker napkin ring holders. And I actually have some placemats that would go really good with these. So hopefully those will bring at least $20. Then he found a tie-dye hoodie that I forget who this is by. I think it's like No Boundaries, which I really don't care. Yeah, it's No Boundaries in a size 3X. Good size. Last one I found of these, I flipped for like $25 almost overnight, so... This one's in excellent condition for it having white on it. Of course, once I photograph it, I may change that, but <laughs> for now it's in really good condition. So 
hopefully 25. And then the last piece I found there, beautiful pastel sweater. It's probably vintage. La Venture. Yes, made in the USA. Vintage, and it's pastel. I wonder what it's made out of. It's probably just acrylic or cotton. Yeah. Does that say Cresslon? Hmm, acrylic. Okay, so it's in good condition. Is that the front or the back? Look at the front. The front has all of this gorgeous. It's not really, well, I guess it could be considered embroidery, but like an Aztec print. And this sweater is in excellent condition. So hopefully at least 35 for that. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. I only have one more bag left and it's in a trash bag. So I'm interested to see what store it's from since it's in a trash bag. Okay, this is from, and there's this little receipt. It says Shop Kingman Thrift Store or SVOP on Beale Street in Kingman, Arizona. All righty, let's see what we got. Oh, feels like shoes. Oh, and did it break it down? No. This whole bag, look at this, only cost me $11. They didn't break it down, but that's what I paid. So, looks like I got a butter dish because it's melamine, and it's in lavender, or it could be lilac. I think it was lavender. I haven't seen melamine in forever. I don't even know if it's worth anything. But I wanted to pick this up and try it out. And I'm not going to be able to read the branding on the bottom, but looks like I found more Crocs. So these are, looks like a men's nine, women's, I can't tell right now. But it had this, like, I don't know if they're Marvel. You know, if they're superheroes or what. And it says boom on the side, and then it's got that on the top. Maybe the Avengers, because there's an A on it. <laughs> Durr. I don't know. But they're in really good condition, and I really like the print. And I wanted to try them out and see how well they'll do. And for that cheap price, I'm able to do that. Okay. So then it looks like there's a bunch of clothes. I hope that's not... I don't have breakables. <laughs> Okay, so this is Comfort Choice on a size 3X. I used to love these in the 80s. So they have velour, and they partially zip. Watch the zipper be broke. I'm not even gonna mess with it right now. But it's got this smocking right here, and they're long sleeves. This one looks like it's in royal blue. And they have the side pockets. And you can wear them either as sleepwear or as a robe. And yeah, I used to love these. They are so cozy. But like I said, the zipper's probably broke on it because it's down and I don't want to force it. So we're not going to mess with that anymore. Okay, next item. Looks like I picked up a bunch of sleepwear this trip. This is Miss Elaine in a size large. And it feels like a satiny, silky material. So it's got the smocking and the embroidery and the lace. Long sleeves. Pretty little ruffle cuffs. In excellent condition that I can see. Perfect for the winter. So hopefully 25 for that. Found another bra. Oh, I remember this store now. Tons of vintage stuff. I found vintage bras. So these are Union Label Vintage Bras. This one looks like it's a 48C. This is what the Union Label looks like. 
This bra has never been worn. It's an underwire. It's got the lace above the cuffs, 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 and hook and loop in the back, or hook and eye in the back. So I have no clue what vintage bras are going for because number one, I've never found them, and number two, I've never found them new. Then I found another one. And this one is a bigger size, but still a union label. This one's a 44C. This reminds me of those Playtex ones back in the day. I mean, look at that. Excellent. Brand new. Never worn. I don't know who was hoarding these, but I found them. Hopefully somebody out there wants them. They'd be great for those old movies, you know. Okay, so next item looks like another nightgown. This is by Pink in a size medium. And it's not a uh, Victoria's Secret. <laughs> but it is so cute. It's got like the watering can and the flowers on it. And then it's got your embroidery around the neck. Does it zip all the way? Yep. Zips all the way down the front. And I bet this is new without tags as well. Got the front pocket, so hopefully $25.30 for that. And I found a bathing suit. Actually, I think it's a tankini. And it's probably not branded either. But at least it's tagged a size large. But I just thought this was so stinking cute with the flowers and the turquoise color. And you can tell that's never been worn either. I mean, if push comes to shove, I'll try it on. Okay, and then the last piece I found is silk. And this is probably vintage as well. This is a California Dynasty in a size 2X. Oh, it's not vintage. Hmm. So it is a satiny, slinky chemise. It's got your lace around the V-neck. Pretty floral. And it's got the lettuce hem. And I don't think this has ever been worn either. You can just tell by the feel. I don't think it has pockets, but yeah. This is probably, <coughs> <coughs> sorry midi or maxi length it smells like somebody's yeah perfume <laughs> well you know like a sachet that you put in your drawer that's what it smells like but it messes with my allergies so okay kids that's it for my thrift across arizona and nevada i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing